Why can a karate expert break a brick without breaking his hand? It has to do with the impact time. It's, it's very quick and the brick bends down a little bit during the impact and the hand moves up a little bit. But when the brick moves down a little bit, it breaks and the hand is much more elastic so it can move up a given distance without uh, the bone being impacted and so it doesn't break. The key is to break the brick. If you hit a brick and it doesn't break, then the impact time is much longer, then there's time for your hand to break. So the key to breaking a brick is, first of all, to hit the brick as fast as you can to exert the greater force and to have the confidence that it's going to break so that you don't hold up and slow down, which might cause your hand to break because the brick doesn't break.